big man. Man, that's stable, is it? I don't believe that. Hey folks, Rich here at RC Informer. Today I have an unboxing video to show you of the brand new FMS 80mm BAE Hawk, guys. Really sweet airplane, six cell powered, in runner motor, guys. Really nice gear and flaps. I'm going to show you the details on this and get into the box, folks. Uh, it's about a day before uh, E Week starting. This thing just arrived, so I'm going to get it out of the box, unbox it for you. And if you guys are going to E Week, uh, well, probably about time to see this, I'll be back from E Week. But anyway, guys, let's uh, take a look at uh, the specs and then let's get inside the box. As we take a look at the outside of the box, guys, you can see uh, the detail on this thing. Really nice compression landing gear. Uh, there is lights. There are lights all the way around this thing. Uh, I'll maneuver the box here as best as I can, guys. Let's see. Specifications on this deal. Wingspan, 41 inches, or basically uh, 1,000 millimeters. 1,200 millimeter length, 48 inches. And uh, in-runner motor, guys, a uh, 1,930 kV in-runner. Really nice, guys. That's going to be pretty sweet flying this thing around. 100 amp uh, ESC with an 8 amp BEC. Uh, 13 gram metal gear servos, guys, all the way around the thing. Uh, runs on six channels, and uh, let's see. CG is 85 to 95. I'll let you know more about that as I uh, uh, get to flying the plane there, if that works well. And then uh, the recommended battery, 6L 4035C. I'd probably go with a 40 to 50C or higher uh, for it because it is an EDF. Uh, let's see if we can get around here, guys. I'm trying to get this done as quick as I can for everybody because I got to drive to E Week tomorrow morning. So, anyway, guys, uh, powerful 1930 kV motor, 80 millimeter 12 blade fan. FMS has some of the nicest fans around, guys. They make tremendously good sound. Predator 100 amp BSC. Uh, integrated wing set, which is really nice, guys, because it's all one piece right down there. And I'll show you that here just in a second. Uh, really nice detail all the way guy, around this thing, guys. Really nice gear doors, uh, panel lines, detailed pilot fi figure, and really nice LEDs all the way around this, guys. They're very bright and a lot of LEDs on it. No glues needed. Screw together construction. This is where FMS is leading the pack, guys, on glueless assembly. And this is fantastic because you can get this thing out of the box and fly it quick. 13 gram, these are their new 13 gram uh, servos that are replacing all nine grams. They are analog, but they are metal gear, guys. CNC machine, uh, aluminum landing gear, and uh, flaps and retracts, of course. And uh, let's see, uh, button type hand canopy hatch. So that's really nice. One more thing I kind of wanted to show you guys, if I can do this without dropping the whole box here. Um, this is a Red Arrows paint job, guys. Um, as you can see right here, um, it's an RAF paint job as well, uh, the Royal Air Force, and uh, it's a really sweet uh, paint job, guys. I'm really digging nice bright red with uh, white and blue trim, and I'm really digging the scale detail on the landing gear, the nose wheel light, the wingtip lights. I think there's one on the back as well, and uh, yeah, right, one right on the top. But anyway, really sweet, guys, and with that, you guys can see what this stuff looks like in the box. Um, this must be in full production, guys, because I don't really hardly get, ever get instructions. And you can see this is looks fully production all the way around. You can see right off the bat, beautiful landing gear doors, guys. Metal trunnions in the wheels are all rounded, very scale-like. All rods, horns, servos, uh, rods, horns, linkages, everything is installed. Very nice boxes. You can see how nice and complete this is. With that, guys, let's get this thing out of the box. We'll lay out all the parts and take a close look at everything. All right, guys, this is the layout of all the parts that came out of the box. And I got to say, this is one heck of an unexpected nice surprise. This is probably, just looking at it before shooting this, this is probably one of the nicest manufactured EDFs I've seen in a while, maybe even ever. It's just, as you can see, there's nothing to it. There's a whole wing panel with uh, flaps, retractable landing gear, servos, ailerons, uh, stall fences, vortex generators there on the wings. Everything's all set up, wiring harness ready to go. Uh, your anhedral uh, elevator, horizontal stabilizer section, all wired up and ready to go. And the main fuselage with everything in it, nose wheel, um, uh, ESC, 
an 80 millimeter EDF. All the servos, lights, wires, everything's ready to go. You just have to drop a battery and a receiver in it. And then you've got a drop tank and even the ventral fins. All these guys just latch in place. Zero gluing. This is very impressive. One little bag of screws. I think there's six or eight screws and that's it. This airplane is together. Real nice nose light, real nice top light, real nice bottom light. I'll show you that in closer detail on the, on the uh, walk around here as I show it to you. And then wingtip lights that they did a beautiful job painting the outside edges of the, of the uh, lenses. So super nice. And of course, an instruction manual, guys, which you know I hardly ever get those. So they definitely must be in full swing in production on that. So with, this, with that, guys, let's go ahead and take a look, much closer look at the parts on this uh, airplane because they're pretty darn sweet. The first part up to show you guys is the uh, main fuselage, guys, and I got to tell you, for the lack of a better word, I'm going to use the word exquisite. I mean, the detail on this thing is phenomenal, right down to the decals, guys. As we go in there, you can see the uh, Royal Air Force Aerobatic Team logo. Just really sweet, guys. This thing is engineered and just manufactured with some serious precision. So. I'll do my best to cover everything. There's a lot to talk about with this thing, guys. And starting up front, you can just see how nice this uh, lens is with a really super bright LED in there. And then right up here, your pitot tube mount, which is metal threads, guys. That is sweet. There's a long pitot tube uh, in the bag down there that screws in. And it's, it's a pain to have something like that out there when you're transporting it. But now you can just unscrew it and stick it in the cockpit, guys, to transport it. So really fantastic. Um, really nice uh, antenna up front here, guys. It's probably a radio or an ILS antenna or something like that. And then down the bottom here, guys, really overall pretty nice uh, landing gear doors with a little bit of ventilation in there. And it's really hard to get in there, guys, because this thing is on a mechanical mechanism. The doors look really nice on this thing. But you have really nice machined aluminum gear, which I will show you in a future video, guys. I'm not going to have time to really show it today just because of uh, I'm in a little bit of rush doing it. And we'll talk about that uh, that later in, in some of the other videos. But as we roll along the underside, this is pre-installed as well. Let me flip this thing upside down so I don't bend up the side of this fuselage as I'm doing this. There's a pre-installed uh, vertical fin under here, guys, which is really nice. Again, that's one of those things FMS is doing to reduce the amount of work that you guys have to do to get out to the field. The intakes are really sweet, guys. Um, all plastic parts for that. Really nicely applied decals overall. And then here, guys, this is your, uh, your main uh, ESC right in here. You can see your two intakes uh, channel all the air in. You got metal threads all the way around with real nice plastic fittings to mount your wing. There's two there. And there's two here, all plastic with metal threads in there, guys. And then you got your uh, fan way in there. It's kind of hard to get in there and see, but 80 millimeter proprietary fan and some cheater holes in here. Two uh, countersunk beveled edge Allen head bolts, guys to get your uh, fan cover off if you should need to get in there. But uh, anyway, that's all mounted nicely in there. And there's your lower LED, guys. This thing's gonna light up nice at night. Uh, I'm kinda anxious to see this. Lots of fins here. And then, of course, you've got your, uh, your lower ventral fins, which I just snapped in place just to show you what these things look like. Look how nice that is, guys. No gluing. And of course, you can take them off for transport, and they snap on there pretty tight, guys. And uh, they just did a very nice job mounting those uh, ventral fins on there. Overall, real impressive. So uh, as we go around here to the tail cone, this is all a big plastic fitting. Real nice detail. And you can see down there the uh, 80 millimeter in-runner motor and in-runner fan, guys. This is going to be a sweet plane to fly. Elevator fits right in there in the saddle. And I think it just mounts with two screws, guys. It's got this kind of tongue and groove thing where it fits in this notch here. And I think it's just two screws. Anyway, you've got right back here your two connections, guys, for your uh, two elevator halves. And look at that vertical stabilizer. That is just fantastic. Look at the details on that. I believe that is a big sticker they put on there. But uh, really nice, guys, decals all the way around. All servos, or uh, at least I think most of them all are mounted with screws like this in case you ever need to get at it. Really nice ball link and rod. Again, guys, fully installed. You don't have to do any of that stuff. So FMS is pretty much the quickest model out of the box and out to the field. And uh, look at that riveting detail, guys, on those panels. Just fantastic. Um, and the rudder is a submerged style hinge. It's all buried in there, just like a full scale hinge on a full scale airplane is. And as we go along the back, it looks like some cooling exhaust right here. 
and lots of fins and a top light, guys. Like I said, in, in, in the dusk, this plane's really going to glow and light up nicely with all of the lights on this thing. And then you've got some cooling ports, which are functional, guys. This actually sucks air in and uh, out the back and so forth. And a very nice canopy, real nice pilot. A little bit of cockpit detail. Uh, it would have been cool to see two pilots in this, but uh, overall, pretty nice instrument detailing and nice gray cockpit interior. And then a latch type canopy, guys, with this real nice metal latch on it. You can see how that comes off nicely. Uh, canopy overall, you can see the uh, plastic piece for the uh, catch. You can see the pilot screwed in position there. And then look inside of here, guys. Wired nicely. You have a really nice uh, battery floor in there. All the wires are ready to go. EC5 connector for your 6S pack. And it looks like lots of room for a big battery. So you can go big, small, whatever. Uh, EC5 connector, but just super nice, guys. Velcro's down there, so you can uh, mount. There's your gear sequencer down, and there you can kind of see it there, that board. But uh, really sweet airplane, guys. I am impressed. I'm really excited to fly this at E-Week, so uh, hopefully you guys can come out and check this thing out. But just fantastic, guys. I'm blown away by this thing. They did a very good job uh, putting the stickers on this thing. It's just fantastic, guys. A++++. The next item up to show you guys is the uh, main wing panel. They did a phenomenal job of this thing, guys. It is one piece. Everything's installed. You can make your connections. Four bolts, guys, and you got this thing together. So uh, I'm going to start at the tip, guys. Very impressive wing light. This is one of the nicest ones I've seen come from FMS. You can see they painted the edges of it, and it has a really nice super bright LED in that wing tip. So this whole thing is going to really light up nice. Uh, submerged style hinges all the way around so you can see they they rotate around a center style uh, center uh, hinge area um, just the way they're recessed in there just the way a full-scale airplane is so very very impressive I'll see if I can move that a little bit yeah there you go guys that is just fantastic the way that thing operates um, and then as we move in you can see the panel lines rivet detail all the way in there and then a uh, stall fence slash vortex generator guys to energize the airflow over the ailerons uh, just real impressive all the way around. Nice detailing. And as we move to the center, a junction box, guys. Everything is wired, ready to go. You can see the channels here for the ducting from the intakes that uh, take the, everything into the, the center fan. So, uh, But ailerons, uh, flaps, gear, all those connections are pre-made through the junction box. And all you have to do is push those up through the fuselage and connect them to your receiver. Tongue and groove here, guys, to put the front part of the wing in. And then you got your four bolts here, 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 and here. So really nice, guys, all the way around. Real impressive, nice, nice detail application. It gets more impressive on the underside of this thing. It's very nice how they uh, engineered this whole thing. Um, this is actually, I think, a nine-piece wing. It's just one whole wing piece, and instead of stamping this whole thing out of one mold, the flap is a separate piece. This little strip right along here is a separate piece. This is a separate piece, and this is a separate piece. These all have to be manufactured at the, uh, or hand assembled at the, the factory. So you're looking at one piece for the wing, two, three, four, five, six, and the other side, seven, eight, nine. So you're looking at nine pieces of foam to actually manufacture this whole wing and get everything to work right with the submerged style hinges and so forth. So let's see if I can extend this flap down for you. That looks, uh, looks really nice, guys. It's very scale-like. I'm pretty sure that's how the full-scale aircraft is as well. Um, but uh, really nice, guys. Look at that. Rods, horns, linkages all installed there. If you ever need to remove a servo, you got screws, guys. They're not glued in place. You can unscrew them and get them out. I kind of don't like the open channel here. That's one negative, I think, I'd say, that I just, I'd like to see those covered up better somehow. But they do have very nice plastic fittings to keep them in place. And uh, just the molding is just very nice. What's really impressive about this thing, guys, is the landing gear. You can see your plate in here that mounts that covers over your retract. Your plastic doubler goes all the way around. Metal trunnion, metal strut, your gear doors, which I don't know if I can quite get in there. Very nice wheel, guys. It may even be ball bearing split. I'm not 100% sure. But all aluminum struts, which I will show you in a future video. Uh, but you can see how they have that contour to them. They're just really scale contoured. Nice big doublers here for your wing screws, two here and two here. Nice round ones here. And then in the center, there's a plastic doubler here because these latches or your center tank just latches in place, guys. Again, no gluing. 
Again, guys, FMS is fastest out of the box and out to the flying field. Guys, I am just impressed with this uh, wing panel. The third major part, and actually the final major part to the airplane, is this really nicely designed, really nicely put together horizontal and hedral horizontal stabilizer and elevator, just like on the full-scale airplane. Uh, really nice guys all the way around. No submerged style hinges here, guys, but you can see right here that uh, they have a new style now. FMS has this new style, um, uh, actually sort of basically a pin hinge. You can see there's a screw or a metal pin going through there uh, for, your, uh, for your rear uh, elevators. Um, rods, horns, linkages, removable uh, servo. Once again here, guys, really nice all the way around. Your two leads for your dual elevator channels in here. Just super awesome, guys, how nicely this is engineered. You got your doublers here. So this is a tongue and groove where these two actually just fit right into the back. Basically just pop them right in. You lower the back half and you got two screws that go right in there. So guys, six screws for assembly. It's pretty darn sweet. Really nice parts, guys. This is going to be easy out of the box and fun to get out and fly. And that's it, guys, right there. That's all you need to assemble this thing. You can see your pitot tube here, guys, with your threaded end that screws right into that real nice uh, brass threaded fitting up front. And then uh, six screws, guys, and you got this entire airplane together. Uh, we live in a nice world now, guys, where they have found out how to engineer these things at FMS where they can just be bolted together with uh, little to no screw glue, and in this case, zero glue, and you are out flying your plane quickly. Last but not least is the instruction manual, guys, for the uh, 80 millimeter BAE Hawk here, guys. And as we flip this open, we get past that first page, and you can see, just like I'm showing you here, guys, the fuselage, wing, tail section, drop tank, ventral fins, six screws, and then your pitot tube screws on. So that is it, guys. They are just bringing this whole manufacturing thing down to a science where we can just get this out of the box and with a few screws get this together. You can see the four screws right here to get your wing on and you run your wires through. You run your wire, connect your wires for your tail. You assemble your tail with two screws. And if you want the drop tank on, you can slide it on. Ventral fins, you slide those on. And uh, that's it, guys. You're in place. They show you here connecting your battery inside your canopy and you are good to go. Now let's get to, let's see what else is in here. They talk a little bit about rates, high rates and low rates that you can set up. Talk a little more about that as we uh, fly the airplane and get it going. And then where is the CG? There we go, 85 to 95 millimeters, guys, uh, after the leading edge, where the leading edge uh, meets the, uh, the fuselage. So uh, I'll be checking that out in the flight demo and talking to you more about that as I actually fly it and make sure that that uh, is actually the case. Also, as normal, guys, uh, a programming guide for your, uh, for your ESC in the event you need to change something or uh, maybe a factory default wasn't set right for some reason, but it gives you instructions on how to set all those in here. So really nice, guys. This thing must be into production now that, since I got instructions, which I never get. But guys, I got to tell you, this is one nice airplane. I am very impressed with it. About 12, a little over 1,200 millimeter in length. Uh, about a little over 1,000 millimeter in wingspan. It's a real nice size, and especially six cell powered, it's no doubt uh, this thing's gonna be a monster. So anyway, guys, be looking for the flight demos. Uh, those will be coming here uh, pretty soon. Uh, check for this thing at uh, FMS Model and Horizon Hobby. Uh, once again, guys, thanks for checking out RC Informer, and as always, we'll see you next time.